Hey guys, so just another quick tip video on ropes, braids and bars, basically just repeating materials and how to make them. Okay, so just a real quick tip on that. So you just want to get out the cylinder here, just drag it out. Okay, next you just want to press T to edit and it changes to Polymesh 3D by clicking on that button there. Okay, next what we're going to do is press Ctrl D a few times. Okay, we're going to go down here to geometry and make sure to delete the lower because we don't want that showing. And then next we're going to go up here to Dynamesh and click the Dynamesh button just so we can have a little bit of Dynamesh there. Okay, a little bit of topology to work with. Next we're going to bring out the Clay Builder brush. Okay, and we're going to have Symmetry on. We're going to go here to Transform and we're going to go over to Activate Symmetry, put on Y Symmetry and Radial Symmetry. Okay, change that number to 6. So it repeats six times on the Y axis, okay? And we're just gonna drag out something like this, right? And then another one just to thicken that up. And then another one above that going in the opposite direction, okay? Just so it looks like rope sort of interweaving and winding through, okay? Next we're gonna press W, okay, to get out our gizmo. And then we're gonna hold down Control and click and drag. And then when we get a position that we want it in, we're gonna let go of Control and continue dragging up. And this will repeat the form okay uh, multiple times okay or as as far as your screen allows it right so we're gonna do the same thing again okay just get that back up there do it one more time okay now i've got yourself just a little bit of rope here right and that was pretty easy to do but you don't want this thing because as you can see it's quite heavy all right with in terms of topology so we just want to scale this down quickly just a little bit and you can see, you know, you can move it around, but it's not as flexible as you would want it to be. And it takes up way too much space. So what we're going to do is go over here to Decimation Master. Okay. We're going to go down here to Pre-Process Current. Okay, you're going to click on that. And that's going to take a little bit of time. We're going to come back here. And we're going to change this percent to about something like 10%. Okay, then we're going to say Decimate Current. And that's going to change the topology here, right? So it's going to go from something really high to something really low. Or something really workable, rather. And now you can sort of use this, you know, just to sort of put rope around your character or around a weapon, maybe around a sword, something of that sort. You can also do the same thing with this. Okay, I've just created that piece. And again, we've got a steel rebar or reinforcement bar here. And we also have braids. Okay, so I've just done this here. Okay, and you just click and repeat. And that's just how you repeat shapes. Okay, so you can do it for braids, bars, and uh, just pretty much anything as long as it has some sort of re repetitive pattern. Okay, and you just want to make sure to decimate that piece and then go back to using it. Okay, and that's just going to make your life a lot easier. And as you can see, it's a lot, lot easier to um, repeat these shapes and create intricate pieces if you want with the radial symmetry as well. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.